Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is doing super well. It is Thursday, and um, I created this new makeup look today. I know it kind of looks like the same looks I do every day, but I used a lot of different makeup today, including um, these items here from MAC. This is like the Selena collection. This is the eyeshadow palette. This is the highlighter. I am wearing both of these, and I did apply them on camera in this video. So if you'd like to see how um, I utilize these, keep on watching and um, enjoy the video. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. Um, today, we are gonna play with some fun products and try some things that um, I haven't tried yet. I have already, of course, skincared off camera. Um, I actually do that quite a bit uh, prior to sitting here and putting on my makeup because I like for all of those products to sit and absorb into the skin before I get started. I am starting today um, with a new uh, sunscreen. This one is the Dr. Dennis Gross um, DRX Dark Spot Sun Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is the full size um, container and it came, I don't know if you guys are aware, but it came in this package here. This is, um, if you go to the Sephora website and you do a search for Sephora favorites, they usually will have um, all of these different packages with like mascaras and eye products and um, skincare or you know different themes and um, this is they do this annually it usually will come with um, a variety of um, sample sizes or travel sizes good size not just you know like a little card or a little foil packet but a, a, a you know a, a decent travel size uh, or trial size of these products but a lot of times it will come with one full size product and in this case it was it was this sunscreen and I tried this yesterday and it was it was really nice it wasn't too greasy it had a nice feel to it and I like that it's an SPF 50 so this is a great way to try some some nice high-end sunscreens for not a lot of money it is $40 it comes with um, this good sized makeup bag that's made out of this lilac -y, uh, scuba type material and um, $25 from the, per the sale of each of these kits goes towards um, the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center with a minimum donation of $700,000. So it's a great cause and you get some um, nice products. I don't know how much longer this will be available. I've had this for a couple of weeks already. We're gonna play with with some with a bunch of new stuff actually. Let me just start getting this applied. Or things that I haven't used on camera before. Not everything is new, but I did get some new things yesterday and we're going to definitely try those. Um, so I enjoy I like that this says like it's you know protecting against dark spots because I do get that hyperpigmentation across my cheeks where the sun hits me. So um, I'm going to do earlier this week or last week, I did, um, I used a cover of X Blurring Primer, and today I'm gonna use a slightly different uh, cover of X. This one is a gripping primer plus firming, it says. We all wanna be a little more firm, right? So we're gonna see what the gripping primer, oh, okay. This one is clear. I don't know if it's a silicone or what, but I'm going to start applying this across the face. And, um, hmm. I mean, it's definitely kind of tacky feeling. I don't know what I, how I feel about that. Okay. Well, as I'm as I'm working it in, it's becoming a little less tacky, so that's a good thing. And then, you know, I like to double prime. Um, I would almost feel comfortable not using a pore filling primer because I think actually it's done a pretty good job of um, blurring and filling those pores. But just to be safe, I am going to go in with some of the Tatcha Soap Canvas Primer, kind of the more putty primer, and just spackle that into those enlarged pore areas. Just gives me a little extra peace of mind and insurance to do that. Yesterday I received in this MAC, I don't know if you can see with the thing, this MAC Selena eye palette. And this is a highlighter. And then this is a, one of the, the lip glasses. So we'll definitely be talking about that. And since we're 
going to kind of be um, trying these things, I thought that I would try to use some MAC products. I'm going to use this MAC foundation. Um, this is the Studio Fix Fluid. This is nothing, this is, I just got this like earlier in the week, but it's like not a new to the market type product. This has been around. Um, but I haven't used the MAC foundation in a, in a couple of years, so I wanted to give that a try. And then I am going to go ahead and use the um, the MAC Pro Long Paint Pot on my eyes. This kind of upset me that I opened the bottle and it doesn't have a pump. I mean, what is this? Is this like 1998 or something where we're having to apply something without a pump? So this is a little bit dark for me, but I think once we get you know contour on and, and shear this out a little bit, it, it, it will work. So the other thing I did yesterday I noticed is that I struggled with the coverage a little bit and you'll see what I'm talking about. It is a really pretty finish. Um, I think it looks like skin, but I just don't find it as, it's definitely leaning more medium coverage. You can see down here, you can still see a lot of that uh, redness and texture poking through. So I did kind of layer this on yesterday as I was applying it. And then I felt like you can really see that hyperpigmentation still. So again, I think it provides a really fin pretty finish to the skin, but not, oh my sponge just fell on the floor. Oh, I don't know if you're seeing, oh, seeing the kind of coverage that I'm getting, but I do think, I do think it's a really pretty, pretty finish and if I can get this and look how many times I'm having to dip back into this I mean I don't know if it's because it's like a brand new bottle that I'm not getting a lot of product or what the deal is but this is frustrating today I don't use this a lot but I'm gonna go ahead and use the milk matte bronzer cream bronzer it's big and chunky so it's not like you can be super duper precise with it like if you're just, just trying to do a soft line, forget it. Um, so I definitely will not be using this on my nose. I think I actually have tried to do that. And of course it was a disaster. Look how just that blends in. It's effortless. It really is. It's completely effortless. I feel like this only comes in one shade, which can be limiting. I might be wrong about that, but I feel like it just comes in the one. Um, but look at that. I mean, it's just like, it's like nothing. It's totally like nothing. You just blend it in, it just takes a few strokes and, and it's gone. But yeah, you have that really nice natural looking contour. I'm going to use this Sigma one that I've been using, this new Sigma one with the, with the angle. And I'm just going to, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to draw down my nose a little bit like so. Just a straight line. This dramatic angle really allows you just to do a super simple line it doesn't take any skill and then I am coming down the tip of the nose like so because you want to you don't want to abruptly stop that line that shadow I mean you want it to you want it to continue down not like down down but just down the nose I'm going to go into this bronze Cheek Leader Bronze Squad Palette by Benefit. So it's got the two bronzers. It's got the standard hula matte and then it's got the uh, deeper caramel color, I believe. And then it does have this Coralista uh, blush, the Gold Rush blush. And then it's got this highlighter cookie, which I which I like. And I think a lot of people, they're now selling it individually. And I think a lot of people enjoy that. I love this stuff. This is like mandatory for me. Oh, I consider this super duper mandatory. I think, I think I'm just gonna use, just because it's sitting here in front of me, <laughs> but it's also a pretty finish. Uh, Instant Rewind Eraser, Maybelline Eraser. During the latest Ulta Spring Haul, I did pick up several of these in different shades, including some deeper shades, because I was like, you know, I want to see if we can contour with those. So be on the lookout for that. I just realized I dropped my Beauty Blender, and that's what I like to blend out my foundation with. So I'm going to actually, not foundation, my concealer. So um, I'm going to take an existing Beauty Blender. Yes, it's, it's dirty. And I'm going to spray it down with some MAC Fix Plus and try to dampen it that way. It's This is not ideal, obviously, but it will work in a pinch so that I don't have to pause the camera and get back up, so. Okay. 
it might actually, because it's, you know, got the Matte Fix Plus formula in here, it might actually lay down that, um, that contour, I mean, that concealer a little bit better. I will say it smells nice. All right. So there we are with the concealer. That um, Maybelline Age Rewind it really provides just a really pretty coverage and helps brighten. Helps brighten. What do you think? Today I'm just going to use the Hourglass Veil because it's what's sitting here in front of me. And I, I enjoy this one. I think it provides a really pretty coverage and setting so of the skin. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just blur a little. I mean, just kind of swirl it around a little bit to help it blend into the, um, the contour. So there's not such a dramatic line at the transition point of the concealer and the contour. Just a little bit on the nose there, but the chin, around the mouth and the nose. And I'm not going super heavy with this because you don't want just the skin to look real powdery. You just want a really light veil. And I'm gonna use this um, blending brush from Eco Tools just to blend out those edges between the um, the contour and the concealer. Get to this again. So I don't even know how well this is because it's so like reflective, but you can see the implant, implant, imprint of the rose and then Selena's signature there. Now the packaging I'm not like super crazy about. I feel like it feels a little cheap. It's just this cardboard packaging. It's basically a nod to the bustier that she was very famous for wearing. And then again, it says Mac and then Selena's signature right there and sparkles. But they have this plasticky thing here that has um, an image of Selena. Let me put that on there. Again, she's wearing her, her signature bustier, and then there's her signature. Now, this is the palette. Let me show you guys. Um, it's a nice palette. Don't get me wrong. I don't know how much this says Selena. I'll be honest. I don't really... I, of course, knew of Selena, especially of her tragic passing and such, and, you know, and she she remains in people's minds to this day, but this, these are very neutral shades here on the end. And then it's got these two shades, which I'm not mad at. I love these, um, these pinky shades here. One's like a shimmer and one's a matte. This deeper shade here is a matte. And then, then you got these two kind of pressed glitters here. I did swatch these last night and the pressed glitters, you know, I think we need to use some kind of like glitter glue or, or something. These are my very horrible swatches. This, I think, is my, that kind of really light color. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it on camera. This is the medium brown color. This is that pinky kind of pressed pigment, and then this is that deeper brown goldy color one. So, anyway, that's, I mean, I think these are beautiful. I think they're gonna um, blend out very nicely. I don't think this is the most creative palette in the world, so you probably already have a bunch of uh, not a bunch, but you may already have some palettes that will create these looks for you. I am going to go into my uh, MAC Painterly Pot. You can see I've kind of already hit the bottom. Um, I just think it takes a long time to blend this out sometimes. So that's one of the reasons why I don't use it as much. Again, I like using something that already has its, has the applicator um, attached so that I don't have to go through the through the process of finding a brush to use. The Painterly Paint Pot has dried down. Um, eyeshadow or eye priming setting brush, little wet and wild brulee, and then we're gonna go over the lids like so. I think this color here is a little light for me, but I'm going to, what I think I'm gonna do is do this thing where we go a little in there and a little in there and start this in the crease slash socket area. I'm gonna just work that a little bit up towards the brow. I don't think there's any product left, but I'm just trying to shear that out and build up that transition and that very gra gradient look that we like. No harsh lines, no harsh lines this kind of pinky burgundy color. I'm just adding that here on the ends.
because of that initial um, neutral, that darker neutral color, it's not going to seem super bright. It didn't seem very bright to me anyway when I swatched it, <clears throat> but it's pretty subtle. I don't, uh, so I mean, this is a pretty subtle palette, pretty neutral. I don't know that I, the formulas are great. They're blending out, they're, the colors are standing out, they're laying down nicely, you can see them, you're getting great color payoff, but I don't know if this is, maybe you guys know or were more, were more familiar with Selena, but I don't know if I would have considered this a Selena palette, but again, I didn't know her, like probably a lot of you guys knew her, um, I wasn't familiar as familiar with her style. and things like that. So maybe this is very representative of something she would have worn, these colors and such. You guys let me know. I don't, I don't know. Um, we're gonna, I, I really want to use this like very pinky pressed pigmenty color. And I think to do that, I'm going to need to go into the heavy hitter, the heavy hitter being the glue, the glitter glue. I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Base Booster. Beige Cosmetics Base Booster Glitter and Shadow Glue. That's what this looks like here. I don't know if y'all can see that writing. This is the brush nine, brush nine out of that. And it's got this teeny little precise flat tip. And you can put, so what I like to use this for is just to apply just a little bit of uh, glue onto that. I might even just because it's just fresh out, I might kind of smash it down a little bit with my finger and then apply it across the, the lid. Just create a little bit of tackiness on the lid and let that glitter have a place to hang out. I'm just pressing right now. I'm not brushing the glitter on. I'm just pressing and letting it stick for now. I like that. Okay, let's go in for another little bit of it. And again, I'm still pressing that product on because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some fallout and I just wanna get as much on as I can. There we go. And then I'm even gonna put this a little bit on the under part of the eye, just so that it kind of is consistent. I'm not going super heavy with it, just a little bit, just a hint. Just a hint. Okay, so there, here's the finished. Not finished because I don't have liner and lashes and all that kind of stuff on. But this is the this is the look so far. And you can close my eyes so you can see the um, the shadow. Then I'm gonna go into this little Anastasia palette, and it's got this like very very light um, foil type finish. I'm really highlight that inner corner so that when the light hits it, it's reflective. And people are like, oh, her eyes are. Her eyes are sparkling. So I'm gonna actually pause the camera, go ahead and do the uh, my liner and um, mascara and lashes, and then I'm gonna come back to finish up the face. Hey guys, I am back. I have applied, it's been, it's actually been a little longer than I anticipated it being because I had a little um, um, eyeliner disaster. I did get this new blush palette from either, either um, Beauty. You have this really deep color here, this really deep burgundy. You have this lighter pink and then this more kind of neutrally bronze color. I'm of course going to go into these two here. I'm gonna use this Japanese um, blush brush. I really enjoy this because of how it's slanted and it just fits really nicely when you are applying blush to your cheeks like that. So I'm just, here's the uh, thing. I'm just going in, tap, tap. Not very heavy at all. And I'm just gonna do a little a super light application. And this um, deeper color is so pigmented. Look at that. I mean, it just, you instantly, it's there. I'm gonna just go in this brighter color right here. Just a little swirly swirl, tap off excess. And then I'm just pressing that there on the inner part of the cheek, just to kind of bring a little bit of lightness and brightness to, and then I might blend it in a little bit. There we go. Just blend it in. Just 
just give it a, give it a tonal effect and, and add a little bit more depth. Then, let's see here. <clears throat> We'll go into this um, highlighter. It's in that same kind of holographic type palette. It has the rose, it has Selena's signature, her very famous signature. And then um, the inside, it is still that cardboard, black cardboard type packaging, the, uh, reminiscent of the bustier that she likes, she had liked to wear. When you open it up, um, there is a, um, a mirror and then another little plasticky thing with Selena's image. And then the highlighter is this beautiful embo embossed rose. So um, that's just, look how pretty that is. And it's textured and it's raised. I'm just gonna go in with oversized highlighter brush. This is an Eco Tools highlighter brush. And I'm gonna just go in and we're going to do so like so. Am I getting anything? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, we might have to go. I mean, when I put this on my finger, it's pretty, it's a, like a, you know, champagne-y, goldy color. Pretty subtle. And, um, you know, I don't like a subtle highlighter, but that champagne-y color is more subtle on my skin. So, I'm, I can live with it. Going across the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, um, the chin, the high points of the cheek. I keep up reapplying because I want, I want more. I want more. And then we'll go across the forehead. This actually is a really pretty highlighter. I'm, I like it. It's definitely for the more subtle, for me, for my skin tone. It's definitely got a more subtle. Subtle lay down, it's not blinding. I say that sadly, like being something, having something blinding is a good thing. When it comes to your highlighter, I think it is. On to the lips, and I, um, there was a lipstick, but I didn't, I didn't get it. I did get this lip glass, which is, you know, like their version of gloss, I'm guessing. It's this really pretty pinky color. Again, her signature is there on the, on the bottle, but uh, that's, that's a really lovely lip class and I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my lips with this Buxom lip pencil. It comes with a brush on one end which I'm not really sure I understand what that's all about but um, I am going to line my lips I like that it's chunky so that I don't have to be super precise and then I'm going to go into the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and um, put that on. Mm, that's almost a perfect match. I'm gonna go into the Selena Mac Lip Glass and it has a little doe fit applicator and I'm just gonna apply that to the center part of the lip. Like so. I don't expect this to last all day. I don't even know if I expect it to last five minutes because I have a full cup of coffee over here that I need to drink. Um, but it's really pretty. It provides a really nice glossiness to the lips. And um, yeah, I think that's great. I think that's great. And I think it complements the eye look really well. So this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the swatches and seeing how this makeup performs. Um, I'm now going to set my makeup with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. I'm covering my eyes because I don't want, I don't want my eyes, I feel like it makes my liner kind of and mascara run a little bit. So I'm trying not to apply it to my eyes. I'm gonna go in with uh, the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. This has a really nice, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera, but look at the fine mist. I mean, it just floats in the air. It's a beautiful mist. It's subtle, it's not aggressive. It's just, so anyway, I'm covering my, my eyes while I apply this and um, I was talking while I was spraying, so I got in my mouth and it doesn't taste very good. Uh, but there's no scent, it's completely unscented, and there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this um, makeup 
get ready with me today using some new makeup, using a couple of old favorites or things that I haven't used on camera again. And if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, subscribe please. Um, I guess, what am I supposed to say, hit the bell? leave a comment, did I say that already? But more importantly, come back. We are uploading videos, um, trying to upload twice a week, trying to upload Tuesdays and Fridays. I'm actually verbally putting the schedule out there. New videos every Tuesday and Friday with maybe a bonus video trickled in here or there. We are looking at doing some um, lifestyle type videos, clothes for like plus size people or um, you know, a summer wardrobe, spring wardrobe type things, some essential self-care type things, um, maybe even some cooking. I'm not a big cook, but I'm trying to jump into it. Um, but you know, lots of stuff coming, coming through the pipe. Pipe? Pipe? I don't know. Anyway, thanks a lot guys, and I will see you next time.